Today we are adding two 8.5 inch tower speakers to the Can-Am Maverick with a 4 channel amplifier. Well, you guys seen me install the Rockford Fosgate head unit, the stage, whatever, with the head unit and the speakers, but, so I didn't do the speakers from Rockford Fosgate, including the amplifier and all that stuff. What I did instead was decided to do all my own stuff. Now, number one, it comes out a little bit cheaper. Number two, I could customize it and do things more my way, I guess I should say. So I decided to do the Kicker KM8s uh, in the back with these Rockville, Rockville metal cans. Um, we'll see how they do. These are not swivel mount and I need to mount them on an angle. So gonna have to do some ingenuitating. Uh, I got three holes here to work with. So plenty of places to put my, I even have my welder on and I don't even know why. Uh, if you know me, you know that I'm anxiety driven and this is, uh, but got a lot of boxes, a lot of stuff to go through. So I'm trying to get things done. So these mounts, these mounts right here are the ones that I'm not crazy about. Um, number one, so here's the reason why I ended up going with a Rockville uh, tower enclosures. Uh, it's because I thought I was gonna mount it on this. Well, these uh, fit perfectly right here on the shock tower bar. The way this whole shichumication is, I can't really mount anything here. I can, however, mount two speakers in the center, but I really don't wanna do that because I think that looks raunchy. So my solution is mount it like this. In here, these are supposedly 600 watts together. I need 150 watts RMS to each speaker because these are at four ohms. Well, guess what? This guy doesn't pull that much in four ohms and there's really no other way to do it with a four channel if I wanna use the two fronts. We are gonna be running 100 watts a channel uh, the Rockford Fosgates up front, I think, handle 75, so we'll just turn the gain down and call it a day. It is so tiny. Supposedly it's waterproof, which... Supposedly it's coated inside and it's waterproof. Um, has low pass, high pass, high pass, low pass. The way that uh, Rockville is mounting them is you gotta drill a hole right where you're mounting, run your wire through this middle hole and into the speaker, through the bar and all that stuff. Well, I don't wanna drill any of my tubing, so um, that's what we're gonna do. So I drilled it out enough so I could press in, press in a bolt. Once this gets pressed in, this is what I'm gonna be mounting the pod to. right through the aluminum. So if you are doing the same thing to these aluminum cans, these aluminum pots, um, get the little connectors that have these isolators on them because you obviously don't wanna short out the speakers and uh, you really have to make sure you clean up that, uh, you clean up that uh, little spot that you drilled because you'll be uh, popping amps and speakers now that we have our bracket here, install this. We got a little plate. I got the pod mounted up. I got my terminals in there. Now we're ready to mount up our wire up and mount up our speaker. I'm actually not using their spade connectors. I'm clipping them off. Stripping these wires.
crimp that. Make sure they're on nice and tight. Tower speakers are in. Nice and solid. Um, those rubber inserts are really nice isolators for vibration, so um, that should work really well. I'm gonna get cranking on taking out the seats and with YouTube magic is just the seats are gonna just come out real quick. <laughs> oh man, that was a pain. Panels, all these panels are coming off. Make sure you don't lose these uh, blue clips in case they pop off because uh, you know, can amp quality plastic here. We're gonna mount the amp right here behind the seat so that when I move the seat forward, if I need to adjust the amp, I'm gonna be able to do that. Other than that, we're gonna tuck up all the wires neatly and zip tie everything so everything's nice and tight. Gonna run it through this factory access hole here uh, for the speakers. The front speakers that don't have an amplifier from Rockford Fosgate, uh, I'm gonna run them off the same amplifier and also the back speaker. So I do need to run two sets of RCAs and two sets of speaker wire. Seriously, wiring forever, takes forever. And it's always a mess until you clean it all up and it looks nice after, but before that, it looks like a disaster. Got my remote wire, conveniently using the seat posts for a wire spool holder. Got my power wire, uh, ran to the fuse holder, so that's gonna go there. Um, now I'm just gonna run my speaker wires. RCAs are gonna get tacked in nicely somehow here, and they're just gonna go in a wire loom and disappear. So this is exactly the reason why I test everything before I start buttoning up and putting it back together. So basically the rear RCA outputs on the Rockford Fosgate unit are, uh, are not working. It's two o'clock in the morning and I gotta wake up at six. So I'm calling it a night and tomorrow morning I'm gonna call them and figure this out with Rockford Fosgate and see what they say so the next morning i spent a few hours cleaning everything up getting all the wires nice and neat and finishing up the installation and i did reach out to rockford fosgate now unfortunately we weren't able to come up with a solution and we weren't able to work things out but at the end of it all i ended up going a completely different route and i actually ended up yanking out the rockford fosgate sound system all right, so as you can see, I have a JVC now here instead of Rockford Fosgate. A uh, whole nother hit video happened in the process of installing the tower speakers in the back. Um, I just could not work it out with Rockford Fosgate and I actually ended up going with a JVC sound system and it's pretty much the same exact unit for less money with more options. SST works mounting plate, SST works enclosure pods for the kicker panels and then as well as the kicker six and a half speakers you guys could check out my review video on the rockford fosgate up top right here i had an issue with the steering wheel pulling um pretty severely with the rockford fosgate speaker installed up there due to the dps having a interference issue with the magnet so i'll do a full installation video on that and the installation of the JVC head unit. If you guys are curious about that, that will be uploaded to my channel soon. To continue this video, everything is already buttoned up and the rear tower speakers are installed and are ready to go. And let's see what they sound like. Going great.
So I gotta say, for the price, these guys actually sound phenomenal. Uh, the speakers sound great, the amp works great. Uh, I actually even tested it to see if it's really waterproof uh, washing the Can-Am. Um, I was hosing it off and the amplifier works absolutely perfect. As far as the back of the seat here, I could reach in to adjust the amplifier if I need to. And other than that, I think it looks awesome. And the mounts are actually pretty solid. I don't, I'm not really worried about them going anywhere. Uh, so it all worked out perfectly. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe button. And I will have more videos on the Can-Am coming up. Thanks for watching. Later. Rage on that beat, going crazy.